Good day, my dear STEM students. For today, we'll be discussing the continuation of our previous lesson in limiting reactant. This is percentage yield. Before we proceed, let us first define what is percentage yield. So, percentage yield is the is calculated by dividing the actual yield by the theoretical yield multiplied by 100 and mathematically expressed as this way. Percent yield is equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100 so what is theoretical yield theoretical yield is the maximum amount of products in grams that can be produced from a given amount of reactant okay and then the other one is the actual yield measured amount of the product obtained from the reaction okay uh in computing for the percentage yield you have to know first which is which Alin ba yung actual yield? And then, alin ba yung theoretical yield? Usually, in the given uh, worded problem, ang theoretical yield, this is the one that is being computed. Okay? The actual yield, yield is already given doon sa inyong worded problem. So, huwag kayong malilito sa pagkuha kung anong value ang dapat yung gamitin in computing for uh, step 1. Okay, in our first sample problem, this is the word equation that we're going to use in the preparation of the organic compound nitrobenzene with chemical formula C6H5NO2 benzene with a chemical formula of C6H6 is reacted to aqueous nitric acid. Water is also produced during the reaction. So, in every uh, stoichiometric calculations, you need to identify first or you need to have your balanced equation. So, let us convert this word equation to balanced equation. So, in this particular word equation, wala kayong makikitang uh, ganong medyo uh, magulo yung, yung problem kung mahihirapan kayo kung alin ba yung nasa product, alin ba yung nasa reactant. Pero, uh, pag i-analyze yung maigi, in the preparation of the organic compound, nitrobenzene, so in the preparation, ibig sabihin, kung mag-prepare kayo sa ng isang particular ano, substance, automatic, ano yung pinaprepare nyo? Yun yung product design ninyo. Okay? So, since ang nakalagay dito na indicator in the preparation, so therefore, the product of your reaction is nitrobenzene. One of the product. Okay? So, kailangan nyo ng reactant. So, nakalagay naman dito, benzene is reacted to aqueous nitric acid to produce for the preparation of nitrobenzene. Okay? And then, water is also produced during the reaction. Okay? So, and then, you have to identify for every uh, chemical equation, you need to check first if the given chemical equation is balanced. So, in this uh, particular reaction, let us check if the reaction is balanced. Carbon atom is 6 in the reactant side. And then, in the product side, it's also 6. A hydrogen is 6 plus 1, that is 7. In the reactant, in the product, hydrogen is has 5 atoms plus 2. So, that is 7. And then, nitrogen, nitrogen is 1. Nitrogen in the product side is also 1. And then, oxygen in the reactant side is 3. And then oxygen in the product side is 2 plus 1. And that is 3. So, as you can see, the equation is already balanced. And then, you interpret this. So, for every 1 mole of benzene reacted to 1 mole of aqueous nitric acid, it will produce 1 mole of nitrobenzene and 1 mole of water. So, in any stoichiometric mass-to-mass -mass calculation, you need to compute for the molar masses of the two substances that is go you are going to be using uh, during your mathematical calculations. So, these are the two molar masses for benzene, that is 78.1 gram per mole benzene. And for nitrobenzene, it is 123.1 gram per mole nitrobenzene. So, meron na tayo. balanced equation. Okay, so this is the actual uh, mathematical uh, worded problem. So, a uh, 15.6 gram sample of benzene is added to aqueous nitric acid and the chemist isolated 18.0 grams nitrobenzene. What is the percentage yield of nitrobenzene in this 
uh, reaction. Okay. So, ang first step uh, na kailangan gawin in computing for the percentage yield, you need to identify ano ba yung actual yield dun sa problem. Yung actual yield na hindi nyo muna gagamitin sa first step. Okay? So, pag pag ina-analyze yung problem, makikita nyo na may meron kayong mga keyword dyan. Pag sinabing isolated, yan yung mga kinolect. Halimbawa nilagay nila isolated, collected. So, the value that proceeds that particular word is your actual yield. So, hindi nyo muna gagamitin yung value na yan. Ang gagamitin ninyo, yung isa, which is the given sample. Okay? So, 15.6 gram sample of your reactant. Okay? Yung sample ng reactant, ang unang gagamitin value for computing for the theoretical yield for step 1. Okay? That is 15.6 grams benzene. So, pag may nakita kayong grams, okay, this is your dimensional analysis, you're going to use mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometric calculations. So, in this mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometric calculation, pag sinabing mass, ang starting uh, uh, amount niyo is measured in grams, ang end unit niyo will also uh, ends in the unit grams. Okay. So, as you can see, pag mass to mass, tatlo yung dimensional analysis niyo Laging tatlo yan kapag mass to mass. Okay? Yeah, let's uh, uh, compute this one by one. So, in order to cancel grams in 15.6, pag may grams, automatic, gagamit na kayo kagad ng molar mass. So, yun lagi yung tatandaan. So, any stoichiometric calculations, kapag may nakita na kayong grams, ay kailangan ko nang cancelin yung grams. Ay kailangan ko na ng molar mass ng particular substance na yun. Huwag kayong malilito. Okay, so since, since we already computed for the molar mass of benzene, so you will uh, place here 78.1 gram benzene. At pag meron kayong molar mass na ginamit sa inyong dimensional analysis, lagi lang ang kapartner niyan, meron lang naman yung numerator and denominator. Ang lagi lang kapartner niyan is 1 mole. Okay? So, ganyan lagi ang pwesto niyan in order to cancel for the gram unit. Okay? Maliwanag? Okay. So, next. So, uh, wala pa tayo sa grams. Diba ang end unit natin, sinabi ko sa inyo, mass to mass, start kayo sa mass, end kayo sa mass unit. So, since this is mole, we need to cancel one mole of nitrobenzene. Okay. So, in your dimensional analysis, this time, yung pangalawang step ninyo doon sa inyong dimensional analysis, in order to cancel for the one mole benzene, you will use the stoichiometric coefficient. So, siya yung nandun sa gitna ng inyong computation sa dimensional analysis. So, ano ba yung kailangan yung substances? Benzene, C6, H6, and nitrobenzene, C6, H5, and O2. So, yun lang ang titignan nyo doon sa balanced equation. So, in this particular example, for every 1 mole of benzene, it will produce 1 mole of nitrobenzene. So, kailangan makancel yung 1 mole of benzene, kaya itong 1 mole na benzene dito, siya yung nasa denominator ninyo. And then, the other one is in the numerator, which is the uh, nitrobenzene. And then, cancel yung mole unit, and then, ang matitira is 1 mole of nitrobenzene. Okay. Uh, narating na natin yung last step. So, mass to mass. So, nagamit nyo na yung uh, stoichiometric coefficient doon sa balanced equation. Pagdating sa last part, ang gagamitin nyo na is the molar mass of this uh, substance which is nitrobenzene. So, kung may 1 mole dyan, kung molar mass lang yaman yan, so laging kapartner ng molar mass is 1 mole. So, ang nasa imabaw ngayon nito sa numerator will be 100 23.1 gram nitrobenzene para makancel nyo yung unit na yan. Okay, this time meron na tayong end unit which is mass. And then perform the operation in your dimensional analysis. 15.6 gram, 15.6 uh, times 1 equals divided by 78.1 grams equals times 1 divided by 1 equals then times 123.1 grams equals divided by 1 equal and then you will get this value.
Okay. So, let's check. So, your starting amount has three significant figures. 1, 2, 3. 15.6. So, you have three significant figures sa inyong starting amount. So, ito yung lumabas sa calculator. So, kailangan nyo lang dito is three significant figures. So, hanggang saan yung three significant figures sa value na to? So, this 1, 2, point five so one two three so all non-zero digits are significant so hanggang dito lang kay five ang significant figure na kukunin ninyo okay but take note ang kasunod ng five is eight so tung eight na to kapag ang kasunod ng number yung last number dun sa pinili nyo dun sa significant figure is five pataas you need to round off yung last number Okay, so this is 24.5, kasunod niya 8, so 5 pataas, so this 5 will become 24.6 grams nitro benzene. Ganun yung magiging final answer nyo. Pero kung ang, ang kasunod nito is 24.518, so ang final answer lang is 24.5. No need to round off the last uh, numerical value in your final answer kasi ang agreement na lang natin kapag 5 patas na yung kasunod nung last numerical value i-round off nyo na yung last number pero kung less than 5 i-retain nyo lang yung last number doon sa inyong piniling significant figures okay? let's proceed to step 2 so calculate the percentage yield of nitrobenzene okay so, this, is th this time you will use na the uh, given uh, formula in computing for the percentage yield. Okay, percent yield is equal to the actual yield which is 18.0 grams. So, 18.0 grams nitrobenzene divided by your theoretical yield which is 24.6 grams. So, cancel nyan. Then you will get the value eto na. Okay, ito, ito yung lalabas sa calculator. So, ang inyong uh, amount is dalawa. Okay, so in multiplication and division, ang pagpipili ng uh, final answer, kailangan titignan nyo doon sa mga given, kung division and multiplication, ano ba yung least number of significant figures, yung pinakakonte doon sa given value, pinakakonting significant figures. So, the, in this uh, two values, 18.0, we have here 3 significant figures, 24.6. This is also 3 significant figures. So, wala kayong choice kundi 3 lang. So, 3 yung least number of significant figures. Kaya, ang final answer ninyo, kukunin nyo is 3 significant figures also. Ito yung lumabas na calculator nyo. 0 0.73170 So, hanggang saan dyan yung 3 significant figures? In uh, identifying the significant figures, this time, meron na kayong 0 sa unahan. Tatandaan nyo, kapag ang 0 ay nasa left side ng inyong decimal uh, point, this is not considered significant. But, kailangan siyang isulat sa papel kasi it, it, it indicates the place value of the measurement. So, yung 0 na yan, nandyan pa rin yan. Pero pag binilang nyo, hindi siya kasama sa bilang. So, tatlo lang ang kailangan ninyo. So, ibig sabihin, dito kayo magsisimula ng 1 sa 7. So, 1, 2, 3. So, that is 0 0.731. 0 0.731 is 3 significant figures. Hindi kasama si 0 kasi yan ay leading 0. Leading zeros are not significant Consider significant but, but sinusulat siya sa papel Dahil it indicates the place value of the measurement Okay So going back dun sa round off natin 7, 3, 1, 7 Ang kasunod ng 1 So hanggang dito lang ang inyong 3 significant figures Since ang kasunod ng last figure nyo is great 5 pataas Which is 7 I-round off nyo to Para makuha nyo lahat yung dulo Okay, so your final answer is 0 0.732 And this 0 0.732 is 3 significant figures, not 4 Kasi ang 0 at the left side of the decimal number is not considered significant Pero sinusulat siya sa papel Okay, and then multiply this value by 100 and you will get 73.2% And this is your percentage 
yield of nitro benzene. Okay? So, easy lang yan. Okay. So, if you have any questions, or review nyo lang ng i-review yung mga video lessons natin, most especially in stoichiometry. Marami naman na naka-upload dun sa ating uh, YouTube channel. So, balikan nyo lang ng balikan nyo kung nalilito kayo to recall the different concepts on how to compute mathematically for uh, every stoichiometric calculation. Okay? So, thank you.